let's get started. Okay, let's turn next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Turn your waist. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ten. Airplane. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Touch toe. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Turn your waist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head up, kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I'm going to do some wrist exercises again. Let's go clockwise. One, two, three, four. Don't move your elbow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way, wrist only now. Okay? Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what the utility of this is? It's to use your wrist to block somebody. Okay? But we're doing it for flexibility. Okay? We'll go. Let's see, did we do it this other way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, keep your wrist stable as you can, your elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've already done our shoulder rolling exercises. So now, just I want you to put it all together, okay? Smooth, circular movement. We're going to do up to the ear and back out. Come back down, up to the ear and back out. Back. Push out. Back, up, push out. Okay? Back, up, push out. The other side. Back, up, push out. Back, up, push out. Try not to dip your elbow. Back, up, shoulder movement. Shoulder movement. Here. Back. Turn at the waist, shoulder movement. Okay, back, up, turn. Let's put it all in one smooth movement. Okay, let's do our Heisman. Here we go. Cross hands down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, cross hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Golden cockerel. Remember, shift, center, and up. Okay, here we go. Shift, center, up. Sh down, shift. Center, up, down, shift, center, up. Shift, center, up, shift, center, up. Kick out, shift, center, cross hands up and out. Shift, center, cross hands up and out. Shift, center, up, cross hands, and out. Shift, center, up, cross hands, and out. Shift, center, up, cross, and out. Okay? So we're going to do the 24, and then 10, and then the 16. Okay?
Mensing form. Open. Rotate. Up. Down. Hold your ball. Art the wild horse's mane. White crane. Set. Bisect. Brush knee. Play the loot. Open. Repulse the monkey. Last one. Pivot, hold your ball, grasp the bird's tail. Sit back, T stance, ward off. Sit back, twist it, T stance, hook the back hand, single whip. Sit back, cup, parameter one, cloud hands. Two, Three, hook the back hand, step out, single whip, half step, sit back, pat your horse, step out, palms down, go kick out, Peel down, double punch. Sit back, twist, left hand, outside, left foot, out, hook, split, drop, halfway, set, up, golden cockle. Toe down, pivot, serpent the other way, split, drop, pivot. Set, up, extend the knee, heel down, hold your ball, heel out, made it on her right. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, heel out, made it on her left. Half step back, set up your top hand, needle at the bottom of the seat. Extend the knee, flash arms like a fan. Rock, pivot, one sweep, deflect to the right, then parry and punch. Touch, sit back, roll up and forward. Sit back, twist, apparent closing, open, in, 
Cross hands up, push out. Make yourself small. Wrap around, heel up, off the ground, closing form. Part the wild horse's mane. Cloud hands. Golden cockerel. Kick out. Grass the bird's tail. Parent closing. Embrace the tiger. Closing form. Commencing form, open, rotate up, hold your ball, part the wild horse's mane, one, part the wild horse's mane, two, Half step, hold your ball, spin it to the right, lift up your hand, lift up your foot, white crane spritz its wings. Bisect, look back, ear, heel, hand, brush your knee. One, sit back, out, brush knee, two, sit back, out, Fist the right hand, heel out, deflect, then parry and punch. Touch, open your fingers, sit back, roll up and forward. Twist in the back, twist in the front, hook, T stance, out, single whip. Half step, swirl the front hand, Rock the front foot, play your lute. Drop your front foot open, repulse the monkey. One, 
Repulse the monkey. Two. Pivot the front foot, pirouette the back foot, heel out, hold your ball, heel out, maiden shuttles on her left. Sit back, in step, hold your ball, heel out, maiden on her right. Half step to the back, set up the left hand, on your toe, needle at the bottom of the seat. One hand, two hand, extend the knee, right hand forward, flash arms like a fan. Sit back, twist step, cloud hands. Middle, flip me close. Middle, flip me open. Middle, flip me close. T stance, hold your ball. L stance, ward off. Grass the bird's tail. Contact push. Roll back. Roll up and forward. Sit back, twist step. Left hand on the bottom, T stance. L stance, ward off. Grass the bird's tail. Pull down, pull back, look back. Turn, square contact push. Separate, sit back. Roll up and forward. Sit back, in step, out step, in step. Brace the tiger, up. Rotate, out. Drop your shoulders. Make yourself small, closing form. <laughs> okay, good job. So, last time we worked on cloud hands, and I thought it was pretty good. This time, what shall we work on? One step before maiden. Let's take it at um, single whip, half step forward swirl on the 16, and um, <clears throat> let's take the 24 single whip first, okay? So left foot on a line, right foot not on the other line, but angle it away from the front foot so no two feet will clash, okay? No two feet will clash. Front foot at a 180, back foot at a 45, okay? Bend that front foot, don't go beyond your toe, left hand pushing away at eye level with your middle finger. Back hand, not across your body, but slightly behind, but not this way, okay? Because that's going to make your hips out of, out of um, alignment. So slightly beyond the um, side of your body. The hook remains where the thumb is surrounded by the four fingers. There's a definite hanging over from your wrist. There's a definite bend in your right elbow, single whip. Left um, back foot straightened out with no buckle in the knee. Sit back, move your hand, twist step, cup, parameter one. Cloud hands middle. Flip, meet, close your stance. Middle. Flip, meet, open your stance. Cup. Flip, meet, close your stance. That's two. Middle. Flip, meet, open. Using your waist at all times. Middle. Flip, meet, close. Middle. Hook the back hand. Look at it. Left hand comes across your face 
as you step out with your heel, your palm rotates to go out. Stretch out the back knee. One more time. Sit back, cup, cloud hands. One. Use your waist. Close. Use your waist. Open. Two. Use your waist. Open. Three. Close. Middle. Hook the back hand. Left hand comes across your face. Step out. Then push out as you flatten up the front foot. Okay? Now, let's go back and do um, single whip from 16, okay? So left foot on the line, back foot away from that front foot at a 45 degree. Here's your single whip. When we do single whip on the um, 16, we're going to move to a half step. So half step only means on our toe, but that's an awkward position. So at the same time we're taking that half step, the hook hand opens up and the palm faces the ceiling to meet in the middle, okay? So let's actually do it this way, okay? Forward, okay, but this is how you're gonna do it, okay? Just watch for now. This is your single whip. My back foot is straightened out. When I do a half step, half step, my foot and my hand come move at the same time. Wait, what do I do? My foot and my hand come at the same time. Okay, so let's just do that now. So we're facing the uh, the poster wall. Single whip, half step, swirl that hand. Come back, play your lute. One more time, single whip, half step, swirl the hand, back hand, play your lute. Okay, we're going to get good because we're going to study that left hand. Half step forward, rock the front foot, play your lute. Okay, so you know what to do with your back hand. Okay, so what does your other hand do? That's your left hand. What does your left hand do? Okay, mine is usually very lazy, and it was called to my attention last time. So it is moving. From here, it comes here, it comes back, and it positions for a loot. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. And I know that mine has to be refined, but for, for now, I think it's something that you can follow. Left foot on a line, single whip. Half step forward, swirl that front hand. The other hand comes down, rotates up, and then it plays a salute. One more time. Half step. Okay, so this is how it should look, something like this. Half step. Okay. Half step, you can do it with me. And the weight on the back, good. Okay, now weight on the back, but make sure that there's no, there's clearance. Okay, make sure that there's clearance. Okay, all right, let's, let's do it again, and this time let's move on. This time let's look at the field like a regular 16, and we're having a single whip. Half step, move that hand, swirl it, rock the front foot, play your lute. Drop your front foot, open, center. Look at the back hand that's higher. Lift as you bring it to your ear, toe, heel. Pivot on the ball of your foot as you meet in the middle. Then push back, pull forward, push forward. Center, open, lift. Ear, toe, heel, meet in the middle, repulse two only. Pivot your right foot on the heel, 
pirouette on the back foot, and all my hand is doing is the right palm is facing the ceiling, the right hand as if it were holding the bottom of the ball. Now, when we put out our right heel, then our ball is formed. And then our heel comes out as Maiden works on the left. Sit back, twist in. Maiden holds her ball. Heel out, hand out. As you turn your waist and your hips, your right hand comes to your forehead and your left hand swings out. Half step to the back. Right hand crosses your body. Left hand comes up as you go down to the needle at the bottom of the seat. One hand, two hands. Extend the knee of the right foot. Right hand comes out. Stretch out the back knee, flash arms. Sit back. Twist step, cup, parameter one. Middle or cup, flip me close. Middle or cup, flip me open. Middle or cup, flip me close, do a T-step and hold your ball. Heel out, board off. Then flip and meet. Grasp the bird's tail. Turn, square contact, push. Separate, roll back, roll up and forward. Sit back, twist step, left hand on the bottom, holding our ball on a T stance. Out, L stance, ward off. Flip and meet, then grasp the bird's tail, look back. Turn, square, then contact, push. Separate, sit back, roll up and forward. Sit back, twist step, open step, in step, off the ground, in, right hand on the inside of your cross. Up, rotate out. Shoulder width, drop, closing form. Okay, so <clears throat> how does Maiden work her shuttle? Let's do the 24. How does Maiden work her shuttle? First, we're this way, and we're going to the bottom of the C. Needle at the bottom of the C. At the, in the 24, the right hand goes to the bottom of the C, and the left foot supports that balance on its toe. The left hand sits to the side of your thigh. So can we do right hand, setting it up this way, and you're gonna come down. What are you bending? You're bending that right knee, okay? Bending that right knee. What does your left foot do? It's on its toe. The left hand comes around as if it were brushing the knee. So then together, it comes down this way, okay? and you should feel all your energy going down. Let's do the last serpent. Here's the serpent, okay? Parallel feet, so we know we wanna come out this way. Put your left heel on a line. Put your left, your right toe on that same line, but behind, okay? And you're coming down, pivoting out to your right, you're setting. Shifting your weight to the front foot, golden cockerel. Extend the knee of your left foot to put your left heel out. Shift your weight, hold your ball. Right heel out, right hand out. Turn your waist, bring your right hand closer to your forehead as your left hand swings out. Sit back, twist out on the 24, hold your ball. Left heel out, left hand out, move the waist and your hips, shuttle on the left. Half step to the back, left hand crosses the body, right hand sets up on the top, 
bend the back knee as the left hand holds your position on the thigh, on your thigh. One hand comes up, two hand comes up, then your foot, then extend that knee and start in the middle, flush arms like a fan. Sit back, twist step, fist your hand on your toe, par deflect to the right, bring it in, then parry and punch. Touch, open your fingers, sit back, roll up and forward. Sit back, drop that left hand, twist the left foot, open the right foot, open the right hand without reaching, in step, right hand on the inside of your cross, bringing it up as you slowly rotate, both palms are facing, push out, only at shoulder width away, then you can drop. You make yourself small, bringing all that energy back, heal up, closing form. Okay. Um, is it, are you catching on? Yeah? Maybe? So in Maiden, Maiden can never shuttle like this. Um, Maiden can never shuttle like this. And neither can Maiden shuttle like this. Because what I'm showing you, I'm putting two hands out, I'm putting one hand out, but in each case, I'm only using my shoulder, my upper arm, and my, my arm and my hands to get to that position. But when Maiden works her shuttle, she uses her hips and her waist to get there. So this is the last um, serpent and then the cockerel. Out, extend my knee, so I'm bunched up like this. I extend my knee, I put my heel down. I hold my ball as I shift my weight. My heel comes out, my hand comes out, my hips and waist are coming around to rotate, then I can do this maneuver, okay? So, once again, if I do it wrong, out with my heel, shift my weight, hold my ball. Heel out, hand out, and I'm not gonna use my waist and my hips, and I'm gonna go like this. I, I still didn't do it as, as um, wrong as I wanted to do. But what you should do is remember that all of Tai Chi bears upon your whole body. If it does, no time can you come out this way or come out this way. Because all you're doing is you're using your upper body or your upper extremities to make that motion. But what you want to do is make it more natural so that the heel comes out, the hand comes out, the heel comes out, the hand comes out. Heel and hand, my waist and my hips come, and then I turn. And I'm finished with this, I'm finished with this. So what dictated my hands to get here was my hips and my waist and my hips, okay? Then when you hold your ball and do the other side, the heel comes out, the hand comes out. I watch that hip and my waist, and then I'm here. Okay, then the going back to the needle, you shift your weight to the front as you put your half step, this hand comes across your body, but it sits at the side of your thigh. And if you get it really well on your 24, then you can make that switch to your 16, but even at that, it's kind of difficult. But over time, I think you'll get it. All right, so that was the um, maiden and the needle on the 24, okay? So let's do the 16. There's no, um, there's no serpent, but there is uh, uh, flash arms and, all right, how do we get there? All right, let's do the pivoting, let's go to the parallel the pivoting and the pirouette, okay? So we had just finished um, repulsing, yeah? Okay, 
All right, left foot on a line, left hand out, right hand pulling back, back foot 45. When I say pivot, it's always on your heel, okay? Pivot, front foot. The hand comes up, the, the left hand holds the ball on the bottom, and the right hand comes up as I pivot on my toe, uh, pirouette on my toe. I bring out my front foot to its heel, I form my ball. Then I shift my weight, and I come out with my heel, and I move my hips and waist to shuttle. I sit back. I twist in this time, not out. Holding my ball. Heel comes out, hand comes out, making that rotation, shuttling on my right. Half step to the back of my body, but in line, you want to do the needle. Right hand comes across, left hand sets up, right hand sets to the bottom to the side, rather, as you go to the bottom. So when the maiden works, she always works on a, on a zigzag. She works one side, she works the other side. But the needle, to get back into the, to the 180 degree, it's dictated by where you put your back, your step to the back. That will help you, okay? So, if you remember that maiden always works on a zigzag and, and a needle at the bottom of the sea is always a straightaway, the way you can get there is make sure that when you take your half step forward, half step backwards, this is the last maiden, back, so this will set me up. I'm going this way, that way, and then I want to come down. Straight away, okay? Let's try that. All right, we're in the last repulsing of the monkey. Left foot on a line, left foot pushing out, uh, left hand pushing out, right hand closer to your thigh, stretching out that back knee. You're gonna pivot front foot, move your hand, the left, right hand comes to the top of your, of your bottom ball as you pirouette, kicking out with your heel, making that ball, Shifting your weight out, turning that hips and waist to make your shuttle, sit back, twist in, hold your ball, out, heel, out, hand, twist that hips and waist, shuttle on your right. Half step to the back, swirl that front right hand across your body, Set up the left hand, set the other hand to the side as you go bottom of the C. One hand, two hands, up with your foot, extend the knee. Right hand forward as you extend, flash arms. Sit back, twist step, move your hand, parameter one, cloud hands. Middle, close, flip me. Middle, flip meet, open. Middle, flip meet, close. T stance, hold your ball. Out L stance, ward off. Addressing your hips and waist to that front foot. Then flip and meet and grasp the bird's tail. Okay, so even though you know this, the movement is very I kind of want to say deliberate. It's not just moving those hands, but all the muscles in your body are in play, and that's the only way to do Tai Chi, not just using your hands. You wonder why when you watch someone doing Tai Chi, it looks so graceful. It's not because the hands are swirling, it's because the body is making those movements do their thing. It's not just limbs. It's the core muscles. It's your body that's making things happen so that it looks as if someone is just floating. Okay? So what I'm trying to get at is you know Tai Chi because you've been with me for a while. 
but because you know Tai Chi, are you still aware that all your muscles need to be in play? And sometimes I'm not sure. Because what happens over time is that you take on um, the Tai Chi that you want. And then it then becomes a little harder for me to help you change. But if you can come with an open mind, so what you come with is fine. But what, why do you attend class to get the most out of it is try to have an open mind so that you can change a little bit. So the other side of the coin is if you come and you say, I know the 24, I know the 10, and the 16 is getting to be something I can really know and do, then maybe you don't have to come to class anymore. Right? Why do you laugh, Victor? That's <laughs> but no, that's where I'm coming from. So I really, <clears throat> um, I really study my teaching and what I can do to get you motivated. And I feel that sometimes you know so much that you feel happy about it. And I'm happy for you. But to get better, you have to step few steps back and reassess what you know to keep an open mind. Uh, just to add to what Lucille said, you develop a set of repertoire of Tai Chi form, Tai Chi moves, as you have assimilated it, whether it's with our input or not. You adopt a certain form. And just as you know, we try to teach you corrections to your forms or try to remind you on the process you should be doing, hopefully what happens is you can at times look at yourself and examine it. Use your own imagination. It's very hard to teach one-on-one -on -one for 35 to 40 people. It doesn't happen. So when we teach up here, we're teaching in general what we see. Sometimes there's uh, one or two persons doing a certain thing, and it catches our eye. So we say, maybe we ought to mention this. But one of the, the better things, and sometimes, at least for me, has been gratifying. I think I know a fair amount of Tai Chi, but then there come, I get some insight, and I say, wow, that's what my body is supposed to be doing. Well, this is the intent. And you, that's where your Tai Chi, in some ways, I don't know if you could say improve, it gets more toward the ideal and the theory as opposed to, you know, you're just following what your teacher told you. Okay, so as you get farther along, that kind of learning becomes a lot more the kind of learning you might experience if you happen to be someone who explores. You are looking in yourself. At the beginning, it's sometimes just overwhelming just to go through the steps, let alone I went through the steps, but which way are my hands supposed to be going? Or when you're watching, you, you take the time to watch yourself, whether you avail yourself of the pictures we take of you, which is I think is very useful. If you're introspective and self-evaluate. Begin to learn Tai Chi after you've taken it for 10 years. It's so true. There's things I, I look into that I never gave a thought. And now I say, wow. This is it, and it, it comes in bits and pieces, and each of you will have different ways in which you've learned. You've learned three forms, of which there is 24, 16, 10, and in each of those movements, there is the potential for you to see an insight into how you think your body should be moving versus how it is moving, and then you learn. Thank you.